It's really effective. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Terrence Newman with a pick. And he's going to score. It's a Viking touchdown. Third down, passing down. They throw the extra defensive back in there for a nickel package, and it worked out. And it's not anything that you would think is just great strategy. It's just that when you have five defensive backs on the field and an obvious passing down, it's a lot tougher to complete a pass. And on that play, they completed it just to the wrong team, and it cost them six points. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shot at the 23-yard line. The Saints offense now. They get ready to head back onto the field. And some extras coming up on the line here, Redding for the blitz. That's out to Hill, right side complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And the play goes for 19 yards, gives him a new set of downs. Now the offense lining up first and 10. Leaves this one with Kamara. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. So what will they do on the ground through the air? Let's see, second and nine. Off the play fake to Kamara, it's Breeze. Eluding the pressure right. And he can't find a receiver and he's brought down. Daniil Hunter. In there to sack him for a loss of six. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Sack. Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> On third and long, it's Breeze. Being chased out left. And a pressure gets to him again. Brandon, what I remember most about playing with guys who knew how to rush the passer, they would just tell you, just cover people for me, just long enough for me to get there. And that's exactly what happened on that play. And they'll send the slot in motion left. They do go for it. It's Breeze. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. Picked off near the 42. And he'll get this one out to the 50 to the midfield stripe. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. And complete. Right side, the tight end Rudolph. Pass the 20. And he'll be down deep into New Orleans territory. A big play there on the catch and run. 41 yards. And the next snap coming inside the red zone here. A tenth carry in the game for Cook. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. Well, the spotlight hit him once already tonight as he got into the end zone. He was trying to make it a double spotlight, wasn't he? 
But credit the defense, bottling him up, not letting him get in for the second score there. And we return welcoming you back to Minneapolis. It's the Vikings in possession of the football and the lead. They'll be looking to add to that total as we begin quarter number four. Possible run anticipation here as the D-line sandwiches together. They try again with Cook. And he will take this one into the end zone for a Viking touchdown. A great play there. His second touchdown of the night. And the interception by the Vikings D leads to a touchdown. They're down here in the fourth, and that personal foul penalty is not going to help. No, in these types of situations, players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration. Not a good play. Four bath out to kick this one away. Back out onto the field now comes the New Orleans offense. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Had one tell me once, you know, when we're having a tough patch, this too shall pass, this too shall pass. And if I would keep having a rough patch, he said, but you've got to do something <laughs> Heads up. to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. Halfback sent in motion. Now Breeze throwing on second down. Flushed out right. He's got his man. It's Brandon Coleman. A good pick up there. 26 yards. You cannot write these guys off just yet. Not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. On first and ten, here's Breeze. Thomas has got it. Complete. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two. Touchdown, New Orleans. Ted Ginn, 42 yards. And the Saints have cut it back within a score. Coming into the year, Breeze, 465 touchdown passes. Add another one to the total. You know, it's funny. I just talked with his college head coach, and he told me that when Drew was a sophomore at Purdue, they weren't sure he was truly the starter, even though he started the opening game. And he made a play early in that one. But the coach got on the headset and told the rest of the staff, well, fellas, we found our quarterback. <laughs> now we got to make sure we find the rest of our team. <laughs> Breeze hasn't looked back since. And out now come the Vikings. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Keenum now on first down. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. The completion good for three, and it's second down. Completed pass play. Now let's see if they go back to the air or to the ground. A give. This is Cook. Nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. Detroit! Detroit! 
Time running out here on the play clock. They run again on first down. Cook stops shy of the 45 despite some powerful running. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take. Puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. Now Keenum throwing on second. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. Time for a break. We'll come back, see what transpires after this. Kyle Rudolph, the tight end in motion. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 11 more on that one and another first down. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw so through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Again, it's Cook. Looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. And now the Saints are going to take a timeout on defense. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Shift together here from the D-line. They run with Cook. He's been busy tonight. Takes this to the 32, maybe the 31. Defensively, they rally quickly after the broken tackle. The Vikings on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and nine. Watch him now, Barney. Barney. Check. 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 Three, now the Georgia Southern man. This is Jarek McKinnon. He'll get the football. No, he lost the football. Wow. That ball gets knocked free. But a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? So they got him coming up from his linebacker spot. And sometimes the position designation really doesn't matter. If you creep up to the line of scrimmage, you just have to look for the football. Make sure it moves before you do. And they will take a knee here. And the play clock is going to run out here. They're in no hurry to get a playoff. 
He didn't even try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and trying to figure out which play to run and just lost track, and it cost him. And, Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all 